Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here, your source for gaming, tech, news, and reviews. In today's video, we are taking a look at a password manager from Nord, NordPass. Let's get started. In today's world, chances are you have a number of different usernames and passwords to access certain services. Some of those services might be those ones listed right here. You probably know this by now, but it's not the smartest idea to have the same password for all of your logins. On top of that, it's a good idea to have a strong password and not something that's easily guessed. An example of a weak password, something very easy to guess would be something like this. An example of a strong password, something far more secure, is something like this. Now, obviously with a number of strong passwords for a number of different logins, remembering them becomes a challenge. And that's where a password manager comes into play and is incredibly useful. And for full disclosure, this video is brought to you by NordPass. They reached out to me and asked if I would take a look at their password manager and I said, heck yes, I'm very interested in online security and this is right up my alley. So to kick things off, you can pick up NordPass absolutely free, and I will leave a link to this in the description below. And if you're using NordPass on your computer, you can also add a browser extension to both Google Chrome and Firefox. NordPass also has a free app on Android and iOS. The added benefit if you do use it with your smartphone or tablet is that the passwords sync between your mobile app and your desktop app, which is really handy. You only have to set up a username and password once. Once you've downloaded and installed NordPass, you will be greeted with this screen here. I'm going to go over the PC version first. Now you can simply log in if you already have a Nord account, or if this is your first time using the program, feel free to click create account. I will say though, it's pretty simple and straightforward. The program will give you a recovery code, and I highly recommend writing that recovery code down on a sticky note or on a piece of paper and stuffing it somewhere safe. You will need that recovery code if you ever forget your password to get right into the password manager in the first place. Once you've created your account, you're logged in and ready to go, you should be greeted with a screen very similar to this one here. The first step is to go to Add Browser Extension. From here, you can add the extension to Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Edge, Brave if you're using a security browser, or Opera. If everything goes successfully, you will get a notification that you did add it to your browser. At this point, if you want to import passwords, you absolutely can. For example, if you store passwords within your Google Chrome browser, you can import them into NordPass. I don't necessarily recommend doing that because I think this is a perfect time to generate some new strong passwords for your accounts and also refresh passwords. It's good to change your password every now and then. On the sidebar in NordPass, there are different tabs for different items, things to store your logins, secure notes, and credit cards. If you're wondering what secure notes are, usually these are items that you don't want other people to see, but they're not necessarily logins. For example, if your neighbor gives you their garage door password, password and they're going on vacation, you can store it in here in this app. So it's nice, safe and secure without having to worry about losing the code anywhere or someone else getting their hands on it. From the logins menu, there is actually a lot of things you can do here. For example, if you just want to know what your password is, you can click on whatever login you want, go into your password here and just click show and it will show you your existing password. Alternatively, you can just click copy if you wanted to copy and paste it into a browser. If you want to add a login into NordPass, there are two different ways to do it. The first way is the manual way. Just go to the top right hand corner of your screen here, click add login. And from here you can enter your credentials. So for the title, you can call it whatever you want, but I do recommend calling it something relevant to where you're logging in. So I'm adding a Twitter login. So I'm just going to call the title Twitter here. My email is going to be fake at email.com. My password is going to be password. It will let me know that this is a weak password. And for the website URL, this is important. Type in here where you log in. So I'm going to type in twitter.com and that's pretty much it. So now my login for twitter.com is saved. And the second way to add a password into NordPass is to use the browser add-on. Once you're on the website that you want to save your login information for, just log in like you normally would. So I'm on Twitter here. I'm going to type in fake2 at email.com. This is just to differentiate from the other one I just added. 
I'll type in password here for my password. As soon as I hit login on the top right hand corner of the screen, it says save this login to NordPass. It shows my email, it shows my password. All I have to do is click save. From here, I can open up NordPass and my login information is automatically saved and populated right here on the list. Now let's say you want to change your password to something a little more secure. First and foremost, make sure you're logged into whatever account you're trying to change the password to. Then go into the change password menu. Normally there are three different fields, current password, new password, and confirm password. If you're using NordPass's browser extension, this step couldn't be easier. So it shows your current password, which is already pre-filled. From here, just click on new password and it will suggest a password from NordPass's password generator. All I have to do is click use password here if I want to use this password, or I can change it up if I want. If I want to make it longer or shorter, maybe adjust some security options, whatever. It doesn't matter as long as you're happy with it. After you're done, just click use password. And then from here, click update so it updates on your NordPass application. And that's pretty much it. The second way to update your password if you're not using the browser extension is a little more manual. All you have to do is go into your save login that you're changing the password for, click the three dots on the far right hand side of the screen, from here, go down to edit, and then you can use the password generator to generate a brand new password. So just click that. Once you're happy with this password here, click copy password. Once the password is copied, head back into your browser where you're changing your password and just paste it into new password and confirm password. Once you've done that, head back into NordPass here and paste it back into the password field. And then that way it is saved and updated and ready to go. If you're using the NordPass mobile app, everything you do on the PC will automatically sync over to the mobile app. Everything you do on the mobile app will automatically sync over to the PC. It's really handy that way. Here's a screen of my mobile app and you can see my three logins are the exact same as the three logins on the PC. Sorry about the weird green screen effect there. Now, if I go into the secured notes, I'll show you the difference in the secured notes. Actually, there should be no difference. And I'll go into my mobile app go into the secured notes and you can see the two secured notes saved right there. Furthermore, the app does have biometrics available, so you can log in with a fingerprint, for example. Now for my overall thoughts on NordPass. First and foremost, if the name NordPass seems familiar, it's made by the same folks who made NordVPN. NordVPN is extremely well known in the VPN world. They're actually one of the biggest VPN providers out there. In terms of overall security, NordPass was audited by Cure53 and did pass, and this holds a lot of weight. Cure53 is a well-known external auditor. In terms of overall usability, both the app and the PC program are incredibly intuitive and easy to use. I like how minimalistic everything is. I didn't want a cluttered password manager, and this is nice and clean. It's simple, it's straightforward, and I quite like it. One thing I didn't like though about the appearance is that there was no option for a dark mode on either the app or the PC program, but the development team is working on it and will be implementing it at some point. Another thing I didn't like is that there wasn't a way to audit your password to see if your current password had ever been exposed in any sort of data leaks, but apparently they are working on that feature as well, which is a big thumbs up from me. And since this was only released just a while back in December, I think I can give them a pass on that. And because this app is fairly new, I do expect more features and more things to be added in the near future. And I think my favorite feature about NordPass is that it is free. You don't have to spend a dime to try NordPass out. You can use it. If you like it, great. If you don't, that's okay too. There's no risk here. It's definitely worth trying and gets a recommended try in my books because you don't have to spend anything at all. And free is always the best price. So I definitely recommend checking out NordPass if you are in the market for a password manager. Anyways, that is all I've got for today. Let me know what you think about NordPass in the comments below. Let me know what you think about password managers in general in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.